So I'll try to first create an emitter. Okay, that's the main thing I'll be starting. Create an emitter. Yes. Go to side view or front view. You place it properly huh? from where you want your water to fall. Then I don't want omni, I want directional because it's falling down. So and change the direction to minus one. And this is zero. And five hundred. So they will fall down, but I want to spread and all those things. So I'll say spread one zero point two or something. Hmm? Speed also I will increase a little bit so that they will fall a little bit faster. And move the emitter a little bit in, not a problem. Hmm? So presently they are just penetrating inside. Huh? Like that, I can increase the speed a little bit as four also. Hmm? Like that. Okay, totally penetrated. So I want to stop them. So very simple. Select your particle. Select your this and say particle make collide. That's enough. Once you do make collide, automatically your surface the particles will stop there. And when if you select this object, if you go to attributes, there is something called geo connector. It will create automatically whenever you say collide, this node will be created. Here, resonance which will control the bounciness of the particles. See, it's too much of bounciness. And there is no gravity also on this. So let me put gravity. And they will fall. Huh? No, they will come back. But still the bounciness is very high. So select this, go to geo connector and decrease this resonance. According, if it is a total water type which is not at all bouncing, you can use like this. Or little bit bounciness you can put if you want more jumping, little bit of more jumping. Very little jump is there. Friction makes this water not to flow. It is total like a mud. If I increase the friction, it will not flow at all. It will just stay there. It doesn't flow. Huh? More the friction, so mud type of effects if you want to create, you can combination of both of them will create such an effect. Huh? Friction is zero, they will slide. They are sliding. See, if friction is high, they'll stop. Hmm? So best thing is just select and go back to your particle shape. Convert them into blobby surface. Okay, this will be better. Blobby surface, radius, and threshold until you'll get something like water. Okay, you are getting almost mix a uh, little bit more threshold. Only thing I have to give is any texture for that. So let me give a little bit of texturing. Made in pause matter, right click new material. This is blin, which is very shinier. Or pong, you can take and put it in something like light colors. Very shiny. Oh, huh? ah, for this, I can create a new texture. Materials, new materials, new blin, I can take. And just decrease the opacity, make this totally white, transparent, increase your density, power, specular color, little bit bluish to look like a water, reflectivity and all those things you can just decrease all of this. Okay? Now if I render this will be almost seen like 